Hey, what's going on you guys? My name is Austin Crumley. I am a skate photographer in the Denton area and none of you asked for this video, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway. But today, here is what's inside my skate photography bag. Um, I do like to keep a very minimalist setup, so I'm not really carrying what I don't need. Let's get started. First up, um, the bag itself. I got this in a Goodwill bin for around one to five dollars. Uh, this is a Hollander bag, H-A-W, Lander. Um, never really heard of the company, but the, the bag does wonders, so I am not complaining. Uh, starting off, we'll get into the side pocket. First up, I have a Field Notes notebook on me. Always good to have a notebook jot down ideas, draw a little picture, do whatever you want to do. Also in the side compartment, I have a Cliff Bar. Uh, this one is crunchy peanut butter, uh, but it's a top contender between this and peanut butter banana. Always get hungry on a skate session, so good to have a snack prepared. Moving on, we'll now look into this front pocket. On the side of it, I like to have some hand sanitizer on a carabiner. Especially in today's day and age, not a bad thing to have. First up in here, I have a silver skate tool. This thing has saved me a ton of time when setting up a new board. So super useful to have. Uh, or any skate tool would just be very useful. Next up, I have this pretty much gallon container of Shugu. I am a broke college kid. So this does wonders. We'll save my shoes in an instant. Moving on to this little uh, back compartment in the front pocket. I like to always keep a lighter on me. Uh, they're in all my bags, just they're pretty useful to have and you look cool, what can I say? Next up in the bag is a phone fisheye. These things are like five bucks. Um, and I don't really like filming on my big camera. Um, don't ask me why, I just don't. So I'll always keep one of these on me. And if the homie wants a clip, it will be on this. Okay. Next up in the bag is this little skate kit that I made. Uh, I just put it all inside of a old point and shoot camera case. I can't really remember what camera was in here, but who cares, it has a new purpose. So opening up, uh, we'll start off with this little mesh compartment. I like, like to keep speed cream in there because when bearing shit out, uh, this is a lifesaver. Next to that, I like to have this roll of athletic tape. Um, great for makeshift first aid or a great way to prevent grip thumb. But that has saved my life numerous times. Next in here, we have just these two little things of wax. This one's pretty much almost done. And I have this fresh curb candy. It smells like strawberries or cherries or... It's a great question. Um, I don't know why I'm sniffing my skate wax. Moving on, wax is good to have. Moving on, we have two little bushings in just a Ziploc bag. Um, I've seen homies bushing shit out before, crack or they may need a new one. I may meet, need a new one. So, you know, uh, good to have. Doesn't really take up too much space. Uh, don't think about it until I need it sort of deal. Okay, um, next in here I just have this standard Swiss Army pocket knife. Um, it's got a whole bunch of tools, but mainly the main ones I use are, of course, the knife and the scissors. Always have a little pair of scissors. You know, you maybe have to cut off a thread or something, but multi-tool is very useful. Okay, now I kind of have a sort of miscellaneous bag. Um, I'll get into these. Have a spare shoelace when you're skating. Always need these. 
Um, so might as well have it in here. Um, next up, I have a little adhesive leather patch. Now, a good trick that I found um, is if you shugu the adhesive leather patch, uh, you can find these at like Hobby Lobby in a pack of like 10 for like five bucks. Uh, continuing on, if you shugu the leather adhesive patch onto the shoe, it like, it will almost make it new. I have a example here. Um, so you can see, um, so this is pretty much what it is. I've been skating that for like a week now and it hasn't even budged. And the one next to it, I've been skating that for about like a month or so. And I know these are very shredded shoes, but they have saved the shoes. I mean, when I'm skating, I don't really care how my shoes look. So if I can keep it going longer, uh, I will. Okay, now moving on to the main compartment, probably what y'all are all waiting for. First up, I have just a water bottle. Uh, this one is a Swig water bottle that I got as a present. This keeps my water cold, um, but depending on the occasion, I'll use this or a Nalgene, just any sort of water bottle. Um, and moving on to the camera bag, the exciting stuff. This is a Amazon camera cube. Um, got this for like 15 bucks. I'm not too sure exactly what the brand is, but it's a camera cube, uh, nothing more to it. Okay, so opening up, um, I'll try to give you a good look at it without it falling out. So first up, I like to have just a spare bandana. Always good to have a bandana. You know, it's a, it's a piece of cloth. You can use it however you want to. Next in the kit, I have a lens cap or lens backing, whatever you want to call it, but it's that. Um, for my lens, or spare lens, I just have this standard Canon 18 to 55 millimeter uh, lens. You know, this isn't my main one, but if I need a little zoom, this will do the job perfectly, and I am not complaining. Okay, I also like to carry some spare batteries. These are Energizer 357. Uh, this is actually for my film camera, which isn't in here at the moment, but if it is, these are very useful to have. Next up, um, I have this LED light. I'm actually using it to light the situation, so I'll show you and then get back to my lighting. Um, but it's an okay LED light. I ran into some problems with it, but once I get it working, it does the job. So, you know, what can you do? Uh, I have this little like film back. I don't know, just kind of a little memento that I tore off one of the film packages. Um, I kind of just like to keep it in here. I have a microfiber cloth. If you are a photographer or videographer, it's kind of a necessity to have one of these. All right. The moment y'all have all been waiting for, my pride and joy. This is my camera. This is a Canon EOS. Uh, 1300D um, and the lens I have on it is a Tokina fisheye 10 to 17 millimeter um, kind of a knockoff fisheye but uh, I haven't really had For too many problems with this it. fisheye lens so uh, I do not care but this does the job great I love this camera um, the strap I have on here is the peak designs I think like quick access strap uh, I got this from a present from my sister and I've been using it ever since it's definitely a great thing because in a matter of seconds I no longer have uh, a leash for it. Um, okay, so that does it for the camera bag. Next, I believe there's still some miscellaneous items in here um, that I like to keep. I have these $1 pair of gloves that I found from an antique mall. 
Um, the colder sessions, these are great and they're $1 and they had a whole bin of them. So I am not worried at all about tearing the shit out of these. But good thing to have, especially when it's colder out. Um, next up, <laughs> y'all are probably gonna have questions about these, but I like to keep some like party mask on me. Um, yep, like I said, y'all probably have some questions, but I'm an art student, so if I wanna get a little artsy with the photos, these are a great prop to have, just to kinda, something very simple that will spice up the photo very much. Um, and other than that, there's nothing else in this bag. Um, I really hope y'all enjoyed this. I, I really enjoyed making this. Um, I always like seeing what's in other people's kits. So if you do have a kit video, make sure to put it in the comments, but hope you enjoyed.